What's going on guys? This is a quick video of my uh, detailing pressure washing trailer setup. 5x10 utility trailer. Right here at the back, we got two general pump hose reels. Uh, both of them are 300 feet hose reels. I had a blowout just the other day um, on my pressure wash hose, so I gotta go pick up some more hose. I'm only down to about 150 feet. No, that's like 100 feet, I think. At the bottom, I got a... Uh, that's my garden hose. I feed my tank with that. As you see, the hose comes down, goes up, goes into my tank. This is the hose that goes into the tank. The water is filtered before it before it goes into the tank. This is a uh, Electric Start 212 Predator engine. I put it together myself. Put a pump on it. It's uh, nothing special. Three gallon a minute, uh, 2,500 PSI, AR pump. This is my remote downstreaming system. I got a video for that. Uh, this is my drop stick. I drop it over into my soap solution uh, that I do my house washing with. Stir it up if it needs to be mixed up a little bit. Drop it into the bottom. I have this PVC and uh, that little uh, fitting on the bottom so the hose won't curl up in the bottom of your, um, your soap tank. Because it will it will curl up because it's uh, just a hose. This is the other end of my remote downstreaming system. This is the whip line for my larger pressure washer. Come from over there. I normally do my uh, house washing and everything with my larger pressure washer. It's disconnected right now because I'm not doing any house washing, but the downstream injector is connected. All I do is connect it into the hose reel right there. This is the whip line for my smaller pressure washer. This right here. So. I have two pressure washers on here. I disconnect one to run the other one. I can only run one, run one at a time with the setup I'm using right now. But I'm a one-man um, operation, so um, it's okay. Right here, we got a Predator 420 electric start pressure washer. Like I said, I build all my um, pressure washers. This is a AR pump, 4,000 PSI, 5.5 gallons per minute. The more gallons per minute, you know, the... Uh, how you can shoot your soap on the house washings, the house washers. Both of them are electric start because you know I got the battery box right here. That's my soap tank, like I said before. This is my return line. The line that when I'm not on the trigger, the water returns back to my tank. It's a backflow line. Line goes across, goes in between the pressure washer, comes up, and goes it back into the tank. That's where the uh, water goes when I'm not on the trigger. As you can see, I got a two inch elbow coming out of my tank. Coming down to a two inch Y, to uh, one inch ball valves, to one inch crush proof ho hoses, down to uh, one inch filters, and then the rest, they go straight to the, uh, that's one to that pressure washer, and the other one goes around and hooks to the other pressure washer over there. Like I say, 200, uh, 25 gallon leg round leg tank right here we have our uh, general pump surface cleaner 20 inch surface cleaner it's called a hammerhead I added the casters to uh, make it easier to roll around right here is my air compressor it's a delta air compressor bought it off let go for like 35 to 40 dollars guy wanted like 75 I knew him he ended up dropping the price but anyway uh, paid like 35 40 dollars for it it's a 12 gallon um, air compressor have it uh, strapped down it moves a little bit not much it's my gas can I move it it's just sitting right there it's actually empty right now I uh, just filled up all my tanks and uh, we got a predator 6500 watt generator everything is bolted down and secure uh, the only thing that's actually loose is actually this but it's still strapped down so it's okay got two pump sprayers one is a regular home depot pump pump sprayer and this is a majestic solution pump sprayer uh with vitine seals um you can spray acid and anything out of it um but yeah that's pretty much my trailer right here we have a um it's my information box i put it on the side of my trailer as well as i added the uh, card box you know i have my door hangers in here as well as my postcards 
and then I in the bottom I have my business cards. But yeah, that's pretty much my trailer, my trailer setup. Thanks for viewing, guys. We'll get back with you on the next one. And uh, my videos, you know, they are. Uh, how do I explain this? I don't. They not thought out. I just go pull the camera out, hit the button, and boom, action. That's what you get. But uh, thanks for viewing. We'll get back with you on the next video. Peace.